just woke up. Still missing. So we're going to go see what the dentist says today. Welcome to the Dancing and Fighting Diaries, episode number four. Hit that like button for my missing tooth. Remember to subscribe for more ballroom dancing and armored combat league footage. I got it fixed just in time for last night. I took my daughter to a social dance. She ballroom danced so well and we got so many nice compliments that I think we're on to something big here. But more on that in another video because right now I want to tell you how I broke this tooth. And then we're going to add all the dancing and fighting I did this week into the totals that we keep track of here on my dancing and fighting diaries. So how did it happen? Daniel that you saw in the picture there with me and the chipped tooth, we're duking it out for three rounds of sword and shield, just duels, and then he grabs a buckler. If you don't know what a buckler is at him, it's basically a shield, and it's about this big, and it's basically when you're fighting melee, like the rules we were doing, it's just going to be for punching people, and punching people really hard. Sometimes people put it in their dominant hand so they can hit even harder. So Daniel's got it in his left hand, and we're dueling. We had a half round because uh, somehow I accidentally did some, some crazy move and uh, knocked his sword out of his hand. So we start again. <laughs> Another round into it. Here comes his left hand. And we're fighting out in the driveway. And I just, I, I had my shield here, I remember, because I saw it coming. And he was this big red knight, armored knight, coming through this buckler, like right in the face. I got hit so hard. Probably haven't got hit that hard since, uh, since high school, right? But this armor makes it feel really comfortable. Hit the helm, must have hit my tooth. I didn't even notice it except I'm like, oh, I lost tooth, lost tooth, I lost tooth. I can feel it on my tongue, right? I was so hyped, I didn't even feel it because I was doing so well that night. Oh, I, I really thought we were gonna go eight or 10 rounds. Oh, I only to lose a tooth, <laughs> broke, right in half. I went to the dentist in the morning and thankfully he had an opening and took me in he redid this tooth. This is just a temporary cap on here right now, but we got a new cap coming in the mail in two weeks. And while I'm at it, I scheduled a tooth whitening appointment because I got a dance showcase on November 3rd with Jen Davidson. And you're gonna see that here on this channel. Hopefully someone records it so that I can post it here, or at least we'll see some pictures, uh, maybe on Facebook or on Instagram. So, and that's gonna be a rumba. So check that out. So. Let's start adding the dancing and fighting we did in this week to our totals. Since the last diary, we did the Mambo, the techniques class over at Demidov Dance, and it was a great class actually. I really like it. It's my favorite advanced techniques class I've taken there so far. We did the Mambo, and that is week one out of probably five Mondays this October. So we're looking forward to the following classes in that. So that is one class there. Then we went on Tuesday, did the fox trot and the hustle and the bronze steps for that. I actually used the uh, the hustle with my daughter at that uh, social dance last night in Moray, and I couldn't believe she kept her arms untangled and didn't wind up in a pretzel like I typically do when I'm learning something new. She did awesome. I taught her that whole hustle at the Amore dance, and she did fantastic. So we did fox trot and hustle. That's one class, and that's bronze steps over there at Demidov. Then I took one personal lesson, that's of course to benefit myself and to help with this rumba to get this down for that showcase on November 3rd. That's going to be at the Harvest Ball down here in Pittsburgh. So we did five and a, like five and a half duels. I don't know, we could maybe, we're not keeping track of halves. Um, I'm just sort of thinking maybe we'll just round it up to six. So we'll do six duels this week because definitely um, with the two restarts, that one, one round probably went for a minute and in 50 seconds trying to find a, a sword that got knocked under a, a trailer. So we'll make that six duels for this. And then at social dance last night, there's usually a lesson during a social dance in the beginning, but we're not keeping track of lessons at social dances. That's just gonna count as one social dance. Now I gotta come up with some dancing content for this channel because this is not just a fighting channel, it's a ballroom dancing and armored combat league channel. So stay tuned this week. I'm gonna put together a tip video on how to extend the life of your knees. It's a tip that I use and it will extend the years of dancing you have if you follow this tip. So stay tuned for that. The other thing, since my daughter did so well in her ballroom dance last night, I think we'll put together a little dance. Maybe we'll, we'll show off the hustle, her and I, for you guys in a video coming up soon too. So there's two ideas for some dancing videos 
Also for this tooth, <laughs> I took some footage of me out there. They gave me a couple Percocets where I was just sword fighting. <laughs> like, mm, and I had one moment where I sort of like zoned out. Maybe we'll post something like that. It'll be sort of funny. So we'll have some like, uh, uh, you know what a, a Pell is basically what you're hitting with your sword. We'll have uh, Percocet Pell work. So we'll have some really great content coming up as always. Hit that like button for my missing tooth. Remember to subscribe for more ballroom dancing and Armored Combat League footage. Did you catch that brick fight? That was awesome. We'll see you in the next video, everybody. Thanks for watching again as always. Take care and be safe out there.